looking good, Dusty. Looking good. It is starting to feel amazing in Florida. Well, South Florida. I don't know how it feels up north, but down here right now, it feels great, bro. Yesterday, it felt like it was... Damn, bro, chill. Yesterday, it felt like it was like 85 degrees, 90 degrees outside. Now, it's like 78, bro. It feels so good. And I finally got my trans mount in for Dusty. As you guys remembered, I was trying to get a Hasport mount, but that didn't end up falling through. I found an uh, innovative mount for cheap. Well, not cheap, but bought for innovative, like the website itself. But I got it pretty much on a better price than I would got the uh, Hasport. So, shout out to Innovative, man, for always coming through with some good prices. Um, we're going to throw it on Dusty real quick. It should be a very simple and quick install. I already have it mounted up show you guys it man i got it in black because they do have the billet one that you can order from them but i got mine so you know that nice that nice wrinkle black yeah it's gonna be a lovely day bro it feels so nice outside you guys but yeah um this should be very quick it shouldn't be too hard to do um i gotta put something underneath the trans i guess my jack just to hold the trans up while i take out the bolts and just put this in this place to be honest it shouldn't be that hard and from what I've seen, from looking at the trans and the mount, it's gonna be like really, really easy, bro. So let's get this going, bro. All right, guys, so car's up in the air, and now I'm gonna show you guys what to do to actually get towards your mount, cause that bit is hiding. So what you're gonna do is gonna be a 10 millimeter, this right here. It's gonna be right here, holding up your ECU. You're gonna want to unbolt that. Once you do, if you have an intake like mine, or if you have a stock box, you're gonna remove your stock box. If you have this intake, just loosen it up, and place it to the side man this transmission mount has to be one of the easiest installs bro no cap but um yeah um once you do that and move your intake out the way like i did uh it's gonna be four bolts i believe one two three four yeah so it's gonna be four bolts that you have to remove i believe there's 18s or 17s and it's gonna be two nuts which are these right here one two and then one bolt that's behind the ECU. The reason why I told you guys to do all that stuff is because if your ECU is mounted up right here, you can't reach it. So you have to disconnect it to like, you know, reach, but not disconnect it, like make it, you know what I'm trying to say, bro. But yeah, once you do that, there's gonna be another bolt behind there, right there, you guys can see that. And then one right here, if the camera shows it, it's like right there. Come on, show it, playboy. You guys kind of can see it. Yeah. It's down there. Just know that it's right there, bro. So, let's get on to doing that because that's pretty simple, pretty easy. Make sure you guys jack up your trans because once you, once you remove those mounts, your trans will fall down. And it's not my responsibility for your mistake. So, yeah. Make sure you guys jack up your trans. But, yeah. Let's get on to it. Get these bolts out. And get the new mount in. Let's get it. So, mount is out. Hopefully, you guys can see. All right, guys. So, mount is out. It's pretty simple. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, did exactly what I said when I said to uh, unbolt those bolts and just pretty much lift it up with the mount inside. You don't have to take out this one bolt. You can leave that in. And you're gonna have to reuse the uh, the OEM bolt. So make sure you guys don't throw away your bolts. Um, yeah. Now, basically, what I'm gonna do is just put back put in the new mount the new innovative mount right in this replacement and bolt it back up like literally that's it literally took me like i don't even know probably took me like 10 minutes to take out everything to be honest so let's get this part in yeah let's get this part in all right guys so mount is in pretty dang easy install to be honest with you um, you do have to play with the trans a little bit sometimes to like get it like the bolts in line and stuff But after that everything else is pretty simple the innovative uh, transmission mount doesn't come with a slot Like how your stock mount has for your uh, ground So what I did I just unbolt this one bolt that's holding in like the shiver assembly and stuff And I just put the bolt there and yeah Also I moved it from here and I put it down here and it's connected there Make sure you like you sand this to, to like it's metal like this so you can have like good content and just put it there and you'll be fine 
but yeah everything's looking good uh can't wait to start up the car see how she feels and now i just gotta put back the intake and drop the guard that's really it i believe everything else is mounted on i gotta figure out what this is for because don't really don't really remember but yeah after that everything's pretty pretty solid all right guys so it's a brand new day brand new week brand new month it's been a while since i like even installed this actually it's been like probably two weeks since i had the trans mount in and i still haven't finished the video so i'm gonna finish it up today and also install the new mount that i actually have for the for the passenger side since i feel like you know if i already have the if i already have the uh trans mount i might as well get the whole side mount with it right right so there goes the trans mount looking nice feels amazing you guys feels so dang good it's already broken and i probably feel like 200 miles 300 miles on it by now and it feels great now what we're gonna do we're gonna remove this whole side passenger mount actually no how much i don't even know how much i put on that but yeah we're gonna we're gonna remove the whole side passenger mount just because there's no point in me having this so i want to give a big shout out to my girlfriend for buying me this this is gonna help the car a lot more than what that little mount is doing right now so let's get this installed this is this looks so nice bro i can't wait to like actually feel how it feels but yeah it's pretty simple sim pretty simple install um there's one bolt right there there's gonna be another one on the other side and then you have to take off these uh also take off those right there those two um bolts i think yeah two bolts and i'm gonna remove this ground bro what the bro what the hell shut your bitch ass up yeah so i'm gonna remove this this ground um originally it goes from right here to the mount but since on the innovative there isn't a like there isn't a spot for you to mount that so that's what i did i just ran it from the ac line to the motor which is like the timing cover and yeah works perfectly fine don't have any uh check charge system codes or anything so yeah man let's get this going it should be pretty simple um i really don't feel like driving on freaking freaking wood right now to put the car up but it seems like i'm gonna have to since since my car is pretty low well not super low but it's low enough that if i do try to get the jack on their knee it's gonna scratch it well i don't know i'm gonna try it let's see Alright guys, so car's up in the air, got my jack stands underneath and everything. I also have my jack with a with a little uh, piece of wood holding up the motor. So when I do release all the pressure, um, I'll be able to take out these bolts without stripping them and stuff like that. So it should be pretty easy. I am fighting daylight right now, but it shouldn't take me that long, honestly. It really shouldn't. So yeah, man, let's get this out, get this going. Um, I believe these are all 14s or 17s. All right, so, okay, that's a, this is a 17. These are 17s. Okay, this is not a 17. These are not 17s. Hmm. Definitely gonna have to keep this out, but I think those are 16s. No, it's gotta be something bigger. Those are probably 18s or 19s. All right, guys. So these are 17s. These are. Uh, <clears throat> all right, guys. So this bolt right here is a 17. These two are 17s as well. That's holding in the pinch mount. And then these are 19s. Uh, this one I believe is a 17 as well. And those should be like 16s or I don't know, bro. I'll figure it out when I'm when I get to it. But yeah so first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna take out the upper pitch mount because that's the you know easiest part and after that i should be able to just basically pop the rest of these off i believe those down there are 17s as well so let's see all right guys so this is a brand new day um yesterday got super dark and i couldn't see so i'm pretty sure you guys wouldn't be able to see on the camera but here goes the mount pretty simple install to be honest with you really really damn simple so these right here these bolts right here were 14s not 16s or 17s um these three bolts 
or 14s. Um, these two are 19s. This, I believe, I actually don't remember what this is, but those two bolts down there that's holding the, the bracket in to the chassis are 17s. And it's pretty much simple, bro. You just take all those bolts out and the nuts out, and the mount actually comes out pretty easy. Um, you do have to bend. Not really bend, but you do have to get the ABS lines kind of out the way, so you kind of push on it. I use my pry bar to like pry it out the way just for me to get the mount out and it was pretty simple after that um only thing i'm gonna say for you is is for you guys to go buy some washers because for some reason innovative i don't know what, what they was thinking but these bolts or i guess the mount or something it doesn't it doesn't reach it doesn't reach to where it has to go like it's not flush like there's a gap there so what i went to go do just a little quick fix um definitely have to go put more wa more washers but i went to go buy some washers from ace hardware and i got some couple big washers i think i got four and i just basically placed it underneath the mount and i just tightened it down and yeah it's no space now there is no space and it's kind of it's pretty pretty secure i did test the car out after i installed those washers to see if like the car shakes or anything i did pulls with it and all and the motor is solid so yeah um i'm gonna add more washers on the other side just because like i don't I, it just feels iffy not running it on both sides you feel me so yeah i have some washers they're 20 20 millimeter washers they're pretty bad like super damn big but it's gonna work for what i need this to do so yeah uh they're standing still so they shouldn't bend and stuff like that it should be pretty sturdy for like you know then like until i get new mounts or unless i don't know I get a Hasport mount in the future, which I'm pretty sure I'm not because innovative is, it's is decent. So, yeah, um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put washers underneath that. Wa I mean, put washers underneath that mount and go for another test drive to see if it actually changed up the car a little bit. Pretty sure it doesn't because it's pretty solid as it is right now. So, yeah, man, it's pretty simple install to be honest with you guys. you guys this is where i'm gonna end off the video this is a new day but i ain't setting off the video with the last clip so i'm doing it here if you guys want to look at the mount one more time before the video ends here we go looks nice bro looks really damn good but yeah it felt amazing driving it i have no issues with it um i do notice that the motor is kind of slanted but i think that's because of the trans mount so what i'm gonna do later on Probably like tomorrow or some sometime during this week i'm gonna jack up the trans and remove the trans mount just to put two more washers well i never put washers but to put two washers on the chassis just to see if it like levels out the motor but yeah it everything's solid it looks good feels good went on a quick drive with it feels amazing if you guys need to go do that make sure you guys go to innovative.com or innovative mount something like that and go get these mounts i definitely like them but I'm not going to say they're, they're the best out there. So, But yeah, this is where I'm at off the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy on Instagram on underscore got the soda. Your boy's out. Peace.